Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a look at the top stories we're following tonight. A man accused of intentionally starving his service dog is due in court tomorrow. 34 year old Nicholas Jaco was provided a young German Shepherd by the Department of Veterans Affairs. Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson says Jaco left the dog in its cage for two weeks without giving it food or water. The dog was discovered by the landlord and later died. Jaco is charged with second degree animal torture and killing a seven year felony. His pretrial hearing begins tomorrow morning. A new Big B coffee location will open its doors in mid Michigan next week. Two former baristas for Big B will soon open the coffee shop on Wilder Road in Bay City. The owners, 26 year old Christopher Conrad and 23 year old Martha Jean Jacoby, met while working as shift managers at the Big B location in Saginaw. And they're now two of the company's youngest owners. The pair partnered with Vietnam War veteran and former mayor of Algonac, Daniel Lee Conrad, to open the Big V. The three plan to open four other locations after the Bay City shop. The grand opening is scheduled for April 18th. Little Caesars Arena is set to host its first ever boxing event on June 3rd, headlined by the one and only quote Clarissa Shields. The two time Olympic gold medalist from Flint will face off against four division champion Hannah Gabriels in what will be a big night for boxing. Shields, a 13 time world champion and three time undisputed champion, is sure to bring her hometown pride into the ring. Shields says this is an important fight for women's boxing and she's ready to defend defend her titles in dramatic fashion. And now here's Chris with your forecast. And low temperatures tonight will stay in the 50s and then tomorrow will turn those 50s into 70s once again. And the difference between today and tomorrow will actually get the sun back. We had it at times on our Tuesday, it just clouded up a little bit towards the end of the day. We still manage the 70s tomorrow. It's mid to upper 70s and wouldn't be shocked the next couple of days if we see a few locations manage some 80s by the afternoon. Your forecast wind gusts are expected to come back up between 30 and 40 miles per hour tomorrow. So that wind combined with some of the dryness that has developed now that we've had a pretty nice week has led to some local areas introducing burn bans once again. So we do have fire weather watches in some of our counties, the ones that are shaded in the tan color. Those areas have conditions that are unfavorable for burning and if things get out of control, they could get out of control very quickly. So again, be very careful with any burning and check with local officials before doing so. Your sky tracker shows high pressure keeping much of the country dry as we go through tonight. Any remaining cloud cover should thin out. There's the sunshine for tomorrow. As we go towards early next week, there is a chance that we could see some snow showers mix in with some of the rain from time to time. Temperatures only expected to be in the 40s early next week, but it won't last forever. There are signs of a drier pattern settling in as we get closer to the middle and end of next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.